part E. Please find the equivalent resistance for this combination between these two points. For this problem, we have these two resistors, they are in series because they have one end together, the other end is not together, and there's no branch coming out over here. So they are in series because whatever current goes through this resistor, it will have to keep flowing and through this resistor. So these two resistors, they definitely have the same current. They are in series. And those two resistors, they are in parallel because they have one end together, the other end is also together, even though there's this long wire over here, but they are still connected together through the wire. So these two are in parallel and these two are in series and in this particular case it can be easier if we take care of these two in series first because uh, after we combine those two we can see that these three they are all in parallel so these two are in series 20 plus 20 that's 40 ohms that means I can replace this combination with one single resistor that is uh, 40 ohms and then that's the 20 over here and then 20 for this one and then this is connected together like this so all three resistors now they have one end together and the other end is also together so three resistors in parallel now that means that we can do 1 over equivalent equals to 1 over 40 plus 1 over 20 plus 1 over 20 which gives us 1 plus 2 plus 2 over 40 so it's 5 over 40 which is 1 over 8 that means I have to remember to flip it over the equivalent resistance would be 8 ohms now see if you can find the equivalent resistance for this combination between these two points. Every resistor over here is 20 ohms. Compared to E, the only difference is that there's a resistor over here and this is just a wire. So the 20 and 20 over here, they are still in series, but these two are no longer in parallel because uh, they have one end together, the other end is no longer together. There's another resistor in between the two. So they are not in parallel anymore. And these two, they are not in series either because uh, these two resistors, they have one end together, the other end is not. However, there is a branch coming out, which means uh, Whatever current goes through this one, the current can split or merge, so the two resistors do not have the same current. Therefore, they are not in series. So for this particular problem, we have to do it step by step. We're going to start with these two in series. So together, that's 20 plus 20, 40 ohms. I can replace this, these two this combination with uh, 40 ohms and then the next one is this here 20 ohms and then I have 20 over here and 20 horizontal and uh, like this so what's next the next one is uh, this 40 and 20 they are in parallel because they have one end together, the other end is also together. So we can take care of this uh, 1 over equivalent is 1 over 40 plus 1 over 20, which is uh, 1 plus 2 divided by 40, 3 over 40. And then I have to remember to flip it over. Their equivalent is 40 divided by 3, which means now I can replace this combination with a single resistor 40 divided by 3. So this is 40 divided by 3, but I still have this 20 and uh, this 20 right here. Like that. So what next? Now these two, they are in series 
because they have one end together, the other end is not together, and there's no branch coming out anywhere here. So these two, they are in series. That means that I can do 40 divided by 3 plus 20, which will give me 100 divided by 3. So the combination is 100 divided by 3. That means I can now replace this combination with the single resistor 100 divided by 3. Now I still have this 20. And what next? These two are in parallel because one end is together, the other end is also together, so I can do the 1 over equivalent is 1 over 100 divided by 3 plus 1 over 20, which gives me 3 divided by 100 plus 1 over 20. And this means uh, this is 100 and this is 3 plus 5, 8 divided by 100. And that's not the answer because that is 1 over r. So to find the r equivalent, what do I have to do on both sides? I have to flip it over. So this is 12.5 ohms.